and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got Legend Saturdays. We got some Ultimate Legends. We got, I think, I think it is two Ultimate Legends. And an LTD, if, I, if I'm not wrong. We gotta go check it out, of course, and everything. I did see the early reveal last night, but we obviously want to see the games. The cards in-game, I should say. Now, guys, just want to let you guys know, I do have a gameplay ready for you guys today. I'm doing a trio slash quadruple combine player gameplay with Dion, Kamara, and a few others. So, make sure to check that out, guys. If you want to see that gameplay, smash the like button on today's video. If we get 100 likes in this video in the first hour, I will drop the gameplay. Yesterday, you guys didn't do it. All you guys watch right now. I don't want to get more than 100 views in the first 10 minutes. Every hundred, If you guys get 100 likes in the first hour, I will go ahead and drop this gameplay for you guys as soon as possible. I'll edit it up and ready to go as soon as you guys say the word. Super excited. Now, today's Legend Saturday, guys. Remember, if you want to enter today's giveaway, all you got to do is like the video, comment down below your console, subscribe, be subscribed to the channel. That's all you got to do to enter every 80K. Every 80 likes is going to be 10K given away, so good luck. I announced the other winners on the community tab, so make sure you check that out later on. Now, guys, for Legend Saturday, pretty excited. There's usually some good Ultimate Legends now. Based on last night's review, I don't know if any of these guys can make my team. But I know a lot of you guys can, they could easily make some of your teams. The issue is the way I have my team built. I have a lot of these positions kind of done already. Or it's not worth the coin for me. We're going to check it out, guys. Now, before we head into the video and we go everything, guys, make sure to turn that noti bell to be notified when I post a brand new video. Now, guys, I have some Mutt Reward Packs open up. Matter Rewards Legendary. So, I don't know what's in here. I think it's Combine Packs. So, I saved it for this video. I figured the content video would be a perfect video to toss some Matt, um, Matter Rewards on. So, let's open these up and see what we get. Now, could we possibly pull one of the top guys we have two packs to open i don't usually open up uh theme type packs like this so it's kind of cool when i get some free ones i don't really know what the pull rate are but i have seen a few guys pull uh, mark cooper out of these that'd be super cool give me a lot of coins back right there we got a low legend right there 82 marvin harrison we get a base gold josh bellamy we get a yeah we got a redskins right tackle not even gonna try that and we get a combat player right there with a good flash of lights 85 paris campbell doesn't go for much but honestly what's the difference between the top and the low one Oh, we get another one. 86, Jonah Smith. Okay, I'll take that. An 86 and 85 out of a free pack. And an 82. Not horrible, but how do I know the big difference? Because now I should have really watched when I opened up that Deion Sanders Master Pack. Would have really gave me a little heads up. We got another one. And 85, Paris Campbell. Base gold. We got Cassius Marsh and Virgil Green. Guys, you know what sucks about these Matt Mudden uh, Mud Rewards? Matter Reward Packs. I don't usually open money or spend money on these big bundles, so after this like this will be my last com, uh, theme pack until the next matter rewards. So like, these are my last three cards for quite a while, which is kind of upsetting. And we get another one right here, high flash right there, eighty six Jonah Smith. So we're gonna get the same thing three times. That'd be awesome if we do. And we get another gold. So we got Dalvin Thompson, Daniel Carson, Brian Winters, Jonah Smith. So we end up getting four eighty five to eighty sixes with an eighty two in there. Honestly, not horrible for Mutt Rewards, guys. If you don't have that already, all you gotta do is type in your uh, web browser. It's just Mutt Rewards, and you'll you'll find it. Go sign up for that. Link it to your Xbox account. I've gotten free coins, free training, free cards, free packs throughout the year. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not the best thing, but for a no money spent team like a lot of you guys, for guys who never open packs, this is just a nice breath of fresh air sometimes to have them. Now, let's go head on over. Let's go check out the auction block. Let's go check out the legends. See everything that we got. Guys, yeah, so these solo challenges are out. Ultimate Legend Release 6. Take on Ultimate Legends Kellen Winslow, Ray Lewis to earn their uh, Legend Collectible and their Power Player items. Now, I believe there was an LTD in there at some point. I'm not seeing here, obviously, because these are the solo challenges, so don't, don't get confused and think that if they're not here, they don't have them. But, honestly, it's looking pretty cool. Ray Lewis and Kellen Winslow. Kellen Winslow's always going to be a speed-type, catching-type guy to tight end. And then, you know, Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis is just a, ma a hard hitter. It's a it's, it's simple... Oh, now, the LTD for today is going to be Ken Houston. I have to look it up real quick. Ken Houston LTD. And if you guys know anything about Ken Houston, him and Marcus Allen were like the, were like the meta back in the beginning of the year. Ken Houston always has speed, hit power, zone. So, going to be interesting to see if he competes a little bit with Troy Polamalu. With that height, he definitely probably does. But let's go check everything out in the auction block. Let's see what's up. Super excited to see everything because if Ray Lewis is good, I'm picking him up on the team. Because, I, to be honest with you guys, I'm a big Ray Lewis fan. So, hopefully, his card's looking nice. Let's go check out the sets, see if they're up. Usually the sets are always behind a little bit. It's just standard, but I think they should be in game. Nope, they're not like usual. So we'll be right back. Then is up the LTD, which is super weird. Usually Ken used to would not be up this early. I'm kind of surprised that he is. This isn't quite typical for the LTD to be the first thing up, but let's see what he's looking like. He's got 94 speed, 93 excel, 89 tackle, 93 play rec, 92 pursuit, 89 man coverage, 95 zone coverage, and 92 hit power. Guys, looking like the ultimate zone speed hit power combo. Looking kind of like Sean Taylor, to be quite honest with you. So let's go check this out and let's see how he compares to my Troy Polamalu because it's going to be a big thing here whether or not you know you end up doing it so compared to Troy Polamalu 
Now the power up does not matter, guys, because technically unpowered up, you'd be a lower overall, so they're actually fair overalls. He's faster than Ken Houston. He's got way better excel than Ken Houston. He's got better tackle, way better play rec, way better pursuit, less man, same zone, better hit power. I don't know, guys. In my opinion, the jury's out. I think I think Troy Palomalo takes the edge on Ken Houston here just for the pure reasoning that he's faster, he's, he's quicker, he can tackle better, better play rec, and better hit power. Now, the man, I do, I'm not going to lie, I do like the man on Ken Houston, but I can't discount that. Now, Ken Houston should have a really good catch. 81 catch versus 81. They're very similar cards, guys, not going to lie. Overall, super, super similar, but I'm going to I'm gonna have to go with Troy P. I'm going to stick with Troy Pre. Now, let's refresh this and see if we can find one of the other new cards that should be up at this point. Because it's, it's very weird that we have one of them up. So, we got Ray Lewis up now. Ray Lewis, 97 overall. 91 speed. Now, that's a bummer, guys. 91 speed, 91 excel, 91 strength, 97 tackle, 97 play rec, 93 block shed, 97 hit power, and 72 zone. Now, the hit power is awesome. Tackle is awesome. Play rec is awesome. But that speed's too low. He can't be a user anymore. That's easy. He's not going to be a user. And the worst part about him is he can't be a user. And... His own sucks. So you're going to have to use him. Now, I mean, if you power him up, right, he can be a 92 speed plus sprinter, 94 speed plus John Madden. I can get him to like a 95 speed, which don't get me wrong. A 95 speed is great, but I think they're going to drop linebackers soon who have like 92 or 93 speed. And those linebackers, I mean, may, may, maybe I'll power up, right? I got to look into it. I'm looking into it because not going to lie, compared to Shazier, he beats him everywhere. Way better strength, way better tackle, way better play rec, way better block shot, way better hit power. He will be a god in the run game. He'll be awesome for stopping passes. He's the kind of power that I don't have at linebacker. So he's better than both of them. So honestly, maybe I'll pick up right. I gotta look into it. The speed's low, but powered up, kept up, and everything. You'll probably get him up pretty high. I wanna see another linebacker come out first before I make my final verdict on that, though. Because what if Ray Lewis is gonna be the fastest linebacker? They're not gonna release much faster than him. I really don't know. I know Brian Erlocker was. Was, was he 90? Brian Erlocker was a 90 speed. So yeah, maybe that is the speed at linebackers they're gonna try to keep him at. So if that is the case, then in that case, that's really not too bad. But we're not entirely sure just yet. Now, Kellen Winslow is the final card for tight end. Okay, Kellen Winslow, 97 overall, 6 foot 5, 90 speed. 73 strength, 95 catching, 94 catching traffic, 96 spec catch, 95 catching, by the way, sorry. 96 short route running, 90 medium route running. Okay, so this card's looking super awesome. Looking Tony Gonzalez like. He looks like a slightly upgraded version of Tony Gonzalez. So he's a higher overall. The speed's only two difference. Strength's only two difference. Same catch, same catch in traffic. Three less spec catch for Tony Gonzalez. Three less short route running. Better medium route running and same run blocking, guys. This is a Kellen Winslow. Kellen Winslow's like Tony Gonzalez with chems. So that's what it looks like. So what that tells me, guys, is the next tight end that comes out should blow away Kellen Winslow. The next Tony Gonzalez should have like should have like a 91 speed with a 90, like a 98 catch, 97 catch in traffic. Probably gonna get close to spec catch, close to short route running, way better medium route, way better deep route running. Plus chems and everything. I think I'm going to stick with Tony Gonzalez. I don't think Kellen Winslow is worth the upgrade over Tony G. So, guys, my overall consensus here, when you really look at them, I'm thinking, in my order here, out of today's drops, I think Ray, uh, Ray Lewis and Kellen Winslow are the better ones. Eric, Eric uh, Ken Houston's good, but I think Troy Palomaro blows him away. Now, Ray Lewis, depending on the other linebackers right now, He's beastly, I'm not going to lie. Like, that hit power is insane. Going to get to 99 hit power, going to get to 99 play rec, 99 tackle, close to, like, 96 block shed. He's going to be insane. I, I can't even disregard that one. And Kellen Winslow is going to be really good, too, although I have 20 G. I don't think it's worth the upgrade, but don't get me wrong, guys. If you have him powered up already or you want to power him up, trust me, you can go ahead and do so because he's going to be a beast. Going to get, like, 99 catch. Going to get a great speed. Going to get, like, a 93 speed with Sprinter. Still going to be awesome at tight end, guys, but that is about it for me. Guys, yeah, so that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did like today's legend drops, make sure to give the legend a uh, comment down below and let me know what you thought of them. Now, for me personally, I don't think I'll be picking up any of them just for reasons of stats versus what I have in my team. But I'm super excited. Ultimate legend drops are always fun. With the combine promo, we do have part two of the combine promo, I believe, coming sometime next week. I'll keep you guys updated on that. I believe it was March 2nd, which should be maybe Monday. But guys, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you need to enter the giveaway. Like the video, comment down below your console, and be subscribed to the channel. Once you guys do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. Every 80 likes is going to be 10K. Remember, if we get 100 likes in the first hour in this video, I will go ahead and drop the gameplay at some point today. So make sure you go ahead and get that like goal hit. You hit that like goal, guys. The gameplay was super fun, super great. I really love the card, so hope you guys um, hope you guys enjoy it. Now, as far as today's legend pools and stuff, legend cards, let me know down below what card you'll be picking up. I'm kind of interested to see if how many people actually want these cards. Like, Ray Lewis is super cool, guys. I, have, I used to have a Ray Lewis jersey hanged up on my wall. I love Ray Lewis, big fan, but 91 speed, I don't think that's going to make my team, especially when my two running backs, my two linebackers are faster and even they are starting to lose speed. Like, there's 99 speed guys in the game. I really can't justify that anymore. But 
gonna do with it as I will. Kellen Winslow is pretty cool, but that no run block kind of have Tony Gonzalez already. Might just wait for an Ultimate Legends Tony Gonzalez because he is gonna be crazy. He's gonna have like 99 catching, 99 route running. Gonna be like a, a Calvin Johnson at tight end. Gonna be super fun. So I might wait for him or just keep upgrading George Kittle. I'm not entirely sure. Just check guys, but that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget 100 likes in the first hour, and I will drop that gameplay. So make sure you guys go on ahead and spam that like button. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.